Y'all know that I love a good pre-poo and this one does not disappoint. I'm Genuine Nard and this is everything I've learned about growing my natural type 4 hair. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and thanks. I am learning some new stuff about hair. I was on a Facebook group and I was talking to a lady who said that she's so protein sensitive she can't even use an egg pre-poo on her hair. This broke my heart because <laughs> an egg pre-poo is one of the very best pre-poos I know. Then she said, I don't even do a pre-poo. I just wash my hair and go on about my day. So washing your hair is a necessary thing, but it can be very traumatic for your hair. One of the things that can happen to your hair is high growth fatigue. I'm going to talk about that a little deeper in another video. And then also you have just the process of creating friction, right? So as you start moving your hair around your head, you can cause opportunities for breakage if your hair has not been prepared. That's what a pre-poo does, is it prepares your hair for a shampoo. So don't touch your hair at the very least without adding a coconut oil or a nice detangler or something that's gonna provide a slip the something so that your hair is not going to be overworked and start getting brittle just from the process of washing it. That having been said, she did have a good point. Most pre-poos are heavy on the protein because during the course of living, our hair loses a lot of nutrients, right? Especially the older hair at the ends. So to make sure that that hair has an opportunity to repair and rebuild, you can add protein and that's why pre-poots do that. However, this one is very light on the protein if it has any at all and it is as silky smooth as possible. Here it is. This pre-poo is really simple. Here's the recipe if you want to have it. Sweet potatoes are a great source of vitamins. They're considered a superfood and ranked the healthiest vegetable over broccoli. I love this pre-poo. I use it as a face mask as well. I make it in two parts. I get beautiful sweet potatoes. I'm going to make a sweet potato pie with two and the pre-poo with the other two. Into the oven they go for about two hours at 350 degrees until they're soft. And while they're baking, I'm going to make my detangler. This is hands down the best detangler I've ever used in my life. Here's the recipe if you'd like to print screen and have it. This recipe starts with marshmallow root or Althea. It's been documented as food and medicine dating all the way back to Egypt. And it has a concentration of ceramide precursors. That's a waxy lipid molecule that locks in moisture. The mucilage binds with proteins in the hair to make strands look thicker. The next ingredient is slippery elm. It has a ton of nutrients that help keep hair strong. It's full of amino acids which build up hair protein and it moisturizes dry brittle hair and adds a glossy shine. The third ingredient is fresh lavender from my garden. Lavender promotes hair growth. It's antimicrobial and it has a calming effect with a divine fragrance. Making this mix is very simple. I pour my filtered water into my pot and start adding my ingredients. First, the marshmallow root. And then the slippery elm. I'm going to just give this a stir to incorporate everything. You can find both of these ingredients on Amazon, by the way. All right, good. Now just my fresh lavender. Fresh lavender is so much more intense than store-bought, so if you can grow it, please do. Put the top on and bring it to a boil. Now once you've brought this to a boil, you can tell all the ingredients have already started breaking down in that water. So the next thing is put the top back on and let it steep like tea. Now all I have to do is run this through my blender. I don't usually even have to strain it because everything breaks down as it boils, but you can strain it if you feel you need to. Marshmallow root and slippery elm release their mucilage, and together they work as a plant-based humectant which draws moisture to the hair. They soak in and disappear. 
single strand knots and tangles slide out easily without any damage. This feels like silk. I promise if you try this one, you will fall in love with this silky slip detangler. These are baked and ready to peel. So as I peel these, I want to explain a little bit more about why sweet potatoes are so great for the hair. They are loaded with vitamin C and beta carotene, which gives it its beautiful orange color. Beta carotene is a precursor for vitamin A that not only promotes a healthy scalp, but also promotes hair growth. When applied to the hair and scalp, sweet potatoes also have the added ability to stimulate collagen and elastin production. They also have a lot of potassium, which helps regulate your hair's pH. Cannot express how important that is if you chemically treat your hair. Now that these are peeled, I'm going to move on to the next step, which is blending it with my detangler. And I'm going to add my blades and secure it. And give it a quick whirl on the Nutribullet. And it doesn't take long. I just want it to be as smooth as possible. So now I'm going to add hemp seed oil. This lovely little plant has been vilified, but science has proven it has about 2 million health benefits. Hemp seed oil, like coconut oil, can prevent hygro fatigue or your hair absorbing too much water. This makes it perfect for a pre-poo. Hemp seed oil also has antioxidants as well as omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acids. It protects hair from damage and it makes hair stronger because it supports the cortex. Now, if it bothers you to use hemp seed oil, Coconut oil and olive oil work very well too. So one more blending and that's it. And I'm going to use this directly from the container. I just want you to see the silky smooth blend that feels like luxury in my hair. And my favorite feature is that you can pack this and freeze it. It'll keep frozen for about six months. I got these single serve containers on Amazon and I just label it so we don't confuse it with food. I think this is my new favorite. And then the last thing I want to say is a lot of people say don't put food in your hair. I don't know where that came from, <laughs> but they are very comfortable putting you know, all kinds of other chemicals that we can't even pronounce. I'm not going to embarrass myself trying, but that's nothing. They don't have a problem with those carcinogens that they're putting in their hair, right? But food, oh, that's the boundary. So I just want to say this. I understand it is change in thinking. I get that. However, before it's food, it's not food until you cook it or put it in your mouth and eat it for nourishment. Then it has been your food. But until then, it's just a botanical. So these botanicals have a lot of different properties. And although they tend to work slower than chemicals, granted, they tend to have fewer side effects. And over time, they work better to me. I don't know. If you think I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. I'm not going to read it. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Try this one. It is silky, smooth, luxuriant, all of those wonderful things. And tell me in the comment if you love it. And if you have not already done so, subscribe to the tribe. Join me on some of these Facebook uh, groups. You know, educate yourself about your hair and let's talk about it. And thank you so much. Oh, click, click, like, like, like. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this one. Tell me how it turned out for you in the comments. Click like, subscribe and ring that bell for all the videos in this playlist or just view these next two. And thank you again for watching. All right, that's it. <laughs>